Namaste. Let's go live on another bicycle live stream on Saturday, June the 20th at uh, 8.23 a.m. And it's been a wet ride this morning. It's, uh, yeah, hopefully starting to clear. Weather forecast says it's meant to be. Although I just looked over my shoulder and went, ooh. <laughs> so let's see if we can do a, a live stream without getting too wet because I've certainly been riding for a couple of hours now in light rain. This morning's topic is epigenetics. Um, your trauma may not be your own. Now this is a very, very fascinating subject that I'm personally just starting to get into uh, more and more. Uh, and uh, I just want to start off by giving a quick, my quick understanding of epigenetics, which is that there can be a generational imprint on DNA without actually without the DNA structure changing, there can be a generational imprint, an imprint from previous generations that influences our DNA. There is a science on this, there's studies on this, and it's very, very fascinating. Um, and so I want to start off with a little story of what happened to me last weekend and how it led into um, doing more study. And let me just start by saying I've never been a big believer in blaming previous generations for our experiences but the science is out there the studies are out there and uh, yeah it's it's quite believable actually um, once you start doing research on this it's very very interesting but uh, the reason why I've never been a big believer in it uh, just as, as another disclaimer is because people often use it as an excuse for um, saying that you know um, uh, cancers run in my family or obesity runs in my family and so they use that as an excuse for why they cannot personally get on top of things um, in that particular in that aspect um, it's been shown that the effect of previous generations on things like cancer and and obesity and so forth is absolutely minimal absolutely minimal like maybe 10 or 20 percent so it really is not something that we can use as a as a credible excuse a lot of the time anyway so I had an experience last weekend I was uh, with uh, my life coach slash counselor slash um, health guru and uh, something came up whilst, whilst we were just in conversation and talking about how things have been. I hadn't caught up with her since, well, since January, so it had been quite a while. And, um, uh, and Angel says, I too have only recently begun to study epigenetics. I think that understanding this can lead to healing and an end to excuses. Yes, Angel. Um, I agree. Definitely. Definitely. It's something that, as you'll hear my story, you'll see why I also believe this. So something came up and I don't want to go into too much personal details but I was very strongly emotionally triggered by something by a something that I was sharing that was an experience that not I had personally gone through but an experience that my mother had gone through prior to me being born and it's an experience that has left an imprint on her for her entire life and it has greatly affected her um, to the point where she has had tremors all her adult life so and she is on very strong medication has been for a long time for these tremors and growing up I was not aware of what my mother had been through but she had been through a lot. I was not aware of it until the age of 17. So I had no conscious awareness of it, but I was carrying an imprint. And the imprint became obvious to me in, in, in different ways in my character. I was always very withdrawn, shy, quiet, um, always had a, an awful fear of being left alone as a kid like the abandonment issue. Um, but the, um, the things that became more obvious as I got into my teenage years um, were um, things to do with, um, I've got it written down here somewhere, uh, 
Yeah, I had a, always had a, a great fear of arguments, of raised voices, of hostility, of violence, of people drinking, of alcohol. Um, these were these were dominant characteristics and traits that I still carry to, through with me today, and which started at a very young age. Now this is interesting because in the household that I was in, we had some of that. We had arguments from dad a lot, but the extent of my fear around it was more than what you would expect under that environment. When I was 17, my mum uh, told me of the experiences that her and her mum went through uh, prior to my birth and it shocked me it just blew me away it just um, to the extent that it actually it served a, a positive purpose for me in that I was able to I was so shocked by the revelation of uh, of what she had gone through and how, and how it had imprinted in her life that I vowed to never drink alcohol again and I'd only tried three times at that age of 17 and each time um, uh, morning and each time my physical body couldn't handle it so physically I was I'm not able to consume alcohol in any case so but at that point out of when I was 17 and mum explained to me what she had experienced um, out of respect deep respect for what she had gone through and never wanting to put her through a similar situation I immediately made a vow to myself that I'd never consume alcohol again and you know that's that's how I lived my life that was 37 years ago 38 uh, no sorry 39 years ago now um, time flies when you're having fun so this came up uh, in conversation with my life coach last weekend and the emotion behind it the triggering I had was intense it was intense to the point that it really surprised me and I actually had to do some immediate um, hands-on healing basically to to bring it back under control again and I mean talking about now it's I'm going teary you know it's bringing up emotion and I, I thought you know I thought wow this is so strong why, why is this so strong it's not something that happened to me personally yet I carry the fear the fear of violence the fear of alcohol um, the fear of arguments how could it be so strong if I personally did not experience it so this is where epigenetics comes in and talks about generational trauma and transgenerational trauma it may not just be from our parents it can be from our grandparents and it can be imprinted in the DNA and can be carried through the generations um, so my life coach said highly she grabbed a book out of the out of her book uh, extensive book uh, collection and she said I highly recommend you read this and it's called the book is called it didn't start with you and it's by Mark Wollian Wollian it's a little bit of a hard name to say if you want you can look him up on YouTube I've shared in the last day at least one video maybe two videos with him in it I think and he's, he's got great energy great resonance and his story briefly is that he went blind or was was almost completely blind in one eye and was losing sight in the other and oh, I, I don't know if they figured out the reason why but basically the advice he was given was to make peace with his parents because it was coming as a generational trauma and so it's amazing that that he did that and of course his vision came back so um, so the uh, the question is does it does it apply to us is it possible well I've been doing a bit of research in the last couple of days can generational trauma can it be passed down and they've done science they've done studies on mice unfortunately it's animals and they put them in situations of trauma and because mice have relatively short lifespans they've been able to trace its generational effect down through three generations and they have found that when the mice are 
for instance, put in a situation of uh, when they smell a certain aroma, they're giving, given an electric shock. That memory is imprinted generationally through the DNA. And so the next generation has a fear associated around that aroma and then the generation after that and then the generation after that. So they've also done other experiments as well, introducing mild levels of trauma which are passed generationally through the mice. And because mice are very, very close in the DNA structure to, to us and 99% uh, close, uh, it has a relevance. It's unfortunate that it's animal experimenting and you know I, I don't um, support that in any way but that's that's the example that I, I'm able to give. So the, um, the factors that can be passed down generationally relate to things like our parents or our grandparents choices of nutrition uh, exercise, their behavior, their levels of stress, their work ethics, whether they smoked or drank, these things can be imprinted epigenetically and so that they can actually come down through um, the parents and then and then from they can come from the grandparents. So what I just wanted to share with you this morning is that if you're on your journey of healing, if you're finding it a little bit difficult to figure out where certain um, issues, characteristics, behaviors that you carry come from, here's an area that might be of interest for you to look at, epigenetic trauma. I definitely recommend jumping on YouTube and uh, looking up Mark William, uh, It Didn't Start With You, and, um, and have a look at um, what he has discovered and, and uh, the stories that he tells about the people that he's worked with, because um, he's done a lot of work with, you know, with other people as, as well as his own personal experiences. Have a look at all of this and see if it, it clicks for you. Because it's <clears throat> certainly, certainly clicking for me that we inherit, inherit um, certain behaviors that are imprinted on the DNA. The DNA is not altered, but it carries with it like an energetic uh, imprint. And this can be the reason why we have such fears and such um, difficulties and such characteristics around certain things that, that just continue on and on and on. And we cannot, for the life of us, figure out why they're so strong and prevalent and why, despite all the, the different healing we do around them, why they still take on such a uh, force in our life. So I will continue to research this and, and share uh, some more videos and maybe it's something that will resonate with you. So I want to say thank you for watching and please take it into consideration. Hope you stay dry today. Remember to live vegan and save lives and I'll speak to you soon. Ahimsa.